Hello lovelies, it's Sarcasm Sickness, and we are back for episode 7 of Pokemon Art Academy. And we are doing the second lesson of the in or the apprentice apprentice level stuff. I don't know. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy this episode. Um, here we are. We're going yes, we're going into okay, we're going into the apprentice course. And we're drawing that's right, we're drawing fleshlings today. Um and, oh wait, let's go back. It is, what are we doing? We are, oh, I thought it would tell me what the thing was. I guess not, whatever. Oh, there it is. Create a sketchy pencil drawing of Fletchling. Learn about hatching and sketching techniques. All right, that's gonna be right up my alley, to be honest. Cause that's basically what I do when I draw is just do it in like a sketchy kind of manner. So here we are, apprentice lesson, Fletchling. Welcome back! Here at the here at Apprentice level, each lesson presents a new challenge. In this lesson, we're going to draw a Fletchling. Alright. Oh, look at that cute little thing. Fletchling communicate by chirping. They are known for their beautiful songs. Awesome! I love singing too, and I bet you are just as good at singing as you are at Art Lee. Fletchling, Fletchling, you can you sing like I can sing? Tra la la. That's very good. I'm also good at whistling. Can you- can we not? Okay, thank you. Although friendly, Fletchling are very territorial and will mercilessly- mer mercilessly, sorry, attack intruders. Look at that vicious little Fletchling. Well, this vicious little baby. We're going to complete this lesson using only pencil tools. Pencils? Aren't they just for sketching? Not at all. We'll use them quite differently in this lesson compared to earlier ones. Are you ready? Let's begin. We'll start by sketching the details with the darkest gray pencil. All right. This part is the same as the earlier lesson. Start reflecting head and feet. <clears throat> All right. Can I? There it goes. For whatever reason, it wouldn't select it. Oh, we're just starting the details. Okay. Uh, and again, it's doing that thing where like we don't have the. We have to just kind of do the lines up ourselves, which. I guess it's not a bad thing, it really isn't, because it's supposed to be reinforcing, you know, like, like, we do are doing this ourselves now kind of thing, but I don't know, it's still weird to me. But they just kind of, it's just that they kind of threw you into it. They didn't even warn you, like, by the way, we're not using construction shapes at all this time. It was just kind of like, bam, here you go. And it's like, oh, thank you, thank you. Alright. Oh, little feats is... Those little bird feet, little bird feet. Oh, I was playing um, like a Pictionary kind of game with with Pedro and Kuliwiz and Pedro's sisters. And um, for whatever reason, I got like two birds in a row. It was really weird. I had to draw like a, I had to draw a dove and I had to draw a hawk. I don't know. I didn't fletchlings wings and tail. They actually weren't bad, by the way. My my. Uh, my dove and hawk. Whoa! These those look really complicated. I'm not sure where to start, Professor. In that case, let's take a closer look. The yellow construction shapes show you where the wings and tail go. To try to draw the feather shapes completely inside of these construction shapes. So that their tips reach the yellow line, but never cross it. Alright. The feathers towards the tip of the wing should be the biggest. And the feathers closer to fleshing of body should be the smallest. All right, that's actually kind of helpful. I see what they want me to do now. All right, so we're just gonna kind of follow the construction line for this initial line here. Also, I just kind of want to fix that beak a little bit. It's kind of bothering me. Okay, and then yeah, and yeah. Oh, that was terrible. Whatever. I'm not good at drawing birds. Let's be honest here. For whatever reason, I just. I just can't birds. Yeah. Why did the music stop? It's just I know it's just gonna restart, there it goes. But it's so awkward when it just like it just stops. And like takes a second before it actually restarts. It's so awkward. Alright. Uh, whoop, I went outside of the line. That's okay. I'm sure Lee did too. And we can be partners in crime. Yeah, because Forget you, Professor Andy. We'll do whatever we want. Because we're young and free and talented individuals. 
At least Lee is. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what I mean by that, so don't look into that too much. Ooh. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I really don't. Ugh. Alright. This should be fine. Next step. Oh, I'll add the, co the contour to Fletchling's head and body. Don't forget the little f tuft of feathers at the- Oh, I forgot to draw the tail! Whoops. Well, okay, I guess we're gonna do that now, too. Okay, there's a little tuft of feathers. Here's your head and body contour. Oh, jeez. Okay. See, for whatever reason, circles are my downfall. Circles are my downfall. Ugh. Uh. Okay, now we're gonna go and do this. Okay, okay, there it goes. Okay. I'm sorry I forgot that the first time. For whatever reason, I keep I keep doing that. I'm just not like... <laughs> oh, what's going on right now? I don't know what's going on right now. Alright. Oh my goodness, it's so terrible, but hopefully I can make up for it with the coloring. It's time to start coloring with the color pencil. We won't need the overlay now, so let me turn it off. Alright, thank you. I'll start by adding- oh, the, was I supposed to do details on the wings too? Did you not mention that to me? Well, I'll show you the technique I like to use. When drawing, it's always good to keep in mind the location of the light source. Yup, true, powerful, okay. As we fill in the gray areas, we can leave little gaps in the color where the light hits. Alright. Yeah, okay, right, wait, hang on, I'll be right there, fam. Alright. Alright, cool. Except that I have to go back to the other thing because I didn't realize that we were doing this. Uh, because I just I I maybe sometimes I should actually watch his demonstration of it, but then it's just like I just don't, man. I just don't. I just don't want to take that kind of time, I guess. All right. Anyway, if we're going on to this with using this tool, we're gonna make the fleshing look like it's perpetually looking at the ground. I do like the sound of the pencil. It's a scritchy scratchy. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to make my lighting a little bit different than his because I drew my beak a little bit different, unfortunately. Whatever. I'm just gonna try to compensate for it. Um, and then the feet is his. Yes. This, this music is so cheery, listen to it. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that actually lines up in the video. I don't know, it'll be weird if it doesn't. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Okay. <clears throat> so how are you guys today? How are you guys doing? I'm doing alright, I'm a little tired if you couldn't tell. Whew, I don't know what happened. I really don't. I woke up alright, I guess. I mean, I've been better, but I don't know. Um, see, yesterday- when I- when I record- when I'm recording this anyway, yesterday was the day that I pulled an all-nighter kind of thing. I mean, or not yesterday, well, the day before and then into yesterday, and then last night I finally got some sleep. It was pretty brutal. It was pretty brutal. <laughs> alright, I think I've actually got everything this time that he wanted me to color, so let's go on to the next step. See, I'm just a little tired, so. Well, let's use the dark orange pencil to color in the head. Uh, just, just like in the last step, we'll try to leave a small gap where the light falls at the top left. All right. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Yay. I like this color. It's kind of cool. I'm also trying not to color over all of my lines and stuff. It's so weird. Because in this tool, um... Unlike with the outline pen, um, if I color over like the lines that I already have, like the outline kind of lines that I have here, this will go over it. This will go over it and this will cover it and obliterate it. 
whereas the outline pencil, or outline pen, sorry, anything you color goes underneath that. Which, I'm actually interested in the fact that they didn't actually kind of... I was, I'm surprised they didn't reiterate that, I guess. I'm surprised they didn't, like, remind us. Um, because it's kind of an important thing, is that you don't go over your own lines. Because, as you can see, I've already kind of manipulated and kind of messed up some of my lines that I already had here. But oh well, that happens, I suppose. I'm gonna leave it with a little bit of a scratchy texture there. Alright. With the white pencil, we'll color in Fletchling's wings. We'll also add a highlight in the eye and draw the white stripe on Fletchling's tail. Alright. Cool. Uh, I guess since we're so zoomed in, we'll do the eye thing first. And then we'll do the tail thing. Tail thing is down here. So cute! It's so cute. So yes, proper rest is important. I really should have gotten it, but oh well. We had a lot to do, that's the problem. We had a lot to do. We always have a lot to do, I guess. That's... That's definitely interesting. Okay. Um, this is part of those things that I have to do. Of course, I didn't record any of this last night. Um, but... Or not last night, the day before I meant. Because because I had the Halloween stuff going up. Which I do hope you enjoyed. And I do thank you for all the support on those. Um, all the comments and stuff. I'm very glad that I was able to get another speed drawing out for you guys. I do have a couple more kind of like in the works that I just have to talk over. And, you know, get out to you as soon as possible. But um, I have a lot of other things I need to catch up on. Like commissions and... Um, well, yeah, I guess that's kind of it. So I have to catch up on commissions, and I have to- ooh, that's right. Um, hopefully by today it will be up. I don't know if I'll have it figured out by then, but um... But I do- like this day, which is November 1st, even though this should be going up on November 2nd, um, I need to be working on a new banner for my channel, because my old one doesn't really represent me as well anymore, and the one that I'm currently using at this moment has the Halloween stuff, so I can't I can't be using that anymore. I wish I'd already had one set up, but oh well. I'll pick the sky blue pencil and color in Fletchling's body. All right. Oh, that's right. I want to use a small one. Oh well, I don't care. I do what I want, Professor. You can't tell me what to do. All right. See, I need to do a new banner. Mm. I have an idea. I have an idea. I just have to actually get to drawing it. <laughs> All right. Oh man, it's just so, there's just so little time in the day, guys. There's so little time in the day. Not when you have so much to do anyway. And it also doesn't help when you're lazy like me. Like, ugh. Alright, that should be it. Yay, next step. Now it's time to do some shading. We'll start by shading the wings of the gray pencil. Alright, cool beans. Alright, so, like, a little bit over here, kind of thing. Alright. I did remember to shade the second part this time, I'm glad. Alright. And then, what am I, goes up to kind of, like, here. Whatever. I'm already, it's, like, that's another problem, it's like, I can't erase from here, I would have to go over it again in the white pencil. I just don't feel like doing all that nonsense right now. So, oh well, it'll be a little bit off as compared to what he wanted, but that's fine. It's all up, to, it's, I mean, at this point, where they're being so loose with you that it's kind of up to interpretation. So, yeah, not a problem. Next up. Oh shoot, I didn't do the bottom part of the thing. Well, whatever. And we're gonna shade Fletchling's body in blue with a blue pencil, okay. Alright, um... I drew this one foot really big, I'm just realizing. But oh well. Alright, now I need that gray pencil again. Gray... Because I forgot to do this. I forgot to do that. Alright, next up! Let's go, Captain. We're gonna do the- oh, we're not gonna do the wings? Okay, cool. Let's use a dark red pencil to shade the side of Fletchling's head. Not a problem, Captain. I mean, Professor. Alright, Alright. This eye is way too big, though. That's like the biggest thing. Like, every time it zooms me into this head, it's just- this eye is just ridiculously large. Alright, let's actually zoom out and take a look at it. Look at- 
Look at how ridiculously large that head is. I mean, that eye is. Wow, whatever. Continue on the next step of the lesson. Okay. Before we continue shading, we'd better add a little yellow triangle to Fletch by Fletching's eye. Oh, we didn't do that yet? <laughs> okay. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Oh, shoot. I don't even have room for that. Oh, wait, no. no not the next step. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I kind of don't have room for that. I kind of didn't even leave myself room for that. Well, okay, whatever. Now comes the final step of the shading. To enhance the shadows, we're gonna use a new technique. Hatching. Hatching? Like an egg? No, Lee. No. Not quite. Hatching means drawing lots of lines close together in the same direction. By pr placing these lines in the shaded area, we can create a rather nice effect. There are many different types- Oh, different styles of hatching which create different results. Hmm. We'll try out some of the other types in the mini lessons, but for now let's add straight vertical lines to fleshling shaded area. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Draw fletch fletch fletchlings. Yep, true. Fletchlings eyebrow. Okay. Let's do the eyebrow right now before I forget because we know I will forget. Um Uh, I always hate the way my hatching looks, to be honest. I don't know. I was just never good at it. I don't know, man. I'm gonna add a little bit to the feet here. Um. Uh, no, seriously, I'm like, this is why I can't even talk during this, because it's like, I'm trying so hard to make this look good. But I'm so bad at hatching. I can do cross hatching kind of decently. And cross hatching is going like. And having it go like that. So, like, I'm kind of decent at that. It, for whatever reason, it just looks better than my regular hatching. But I really just don't like this. Ugh. Alright, I've got a little bit more to do. i got a little bit more to do. On the head here. I'm gonna do a little bit underneath the beak, because I don't care, I'm a rebel! I'm a rebel, I'll do what I want. I think I should have done a little bit over here. Alright, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Good work, both of you. You finished drawing Fletching and learned about hatching. <laughs> Lee, what the heck? Hello? Lee. Lee! Lee, speak to me, man! Lee! <laughs> Why is- Boy. Lee! I think something went wrong with my hatching. Yeah? You think? Don't worry, you just need a little more practice at placing your lines. Why not give the mini-lessons a try to help you get used to it? Once you've had got the hang of it, hatching can add a lot of interest to your drawings. Have fun with it. Alright, I think we might actually go into one of those mini lessons right now and learn a little bit more about hatching because I actually do legitimately think I need that help. Alright, my fletching doesn't look horrible, even with its giant eyeball. Ugh. Alright, let's be honest here. Lee's drawing did look pretty cool though. Like, it, like, the hatching was incorrect, but it almost made it look like it was flying through the sky. Like, it was going somewhere, like, really fast kind of thing. So, I mean, I don't know. It could have been worse. It could have been worse, Lee. It was just... Just, I don't know, man. Just, I don't know. Freaking Lee, man. Ah, oh, Let's look at another rule before we leave, shall we? No, I don't wanna. Oh, yeah, the eight rules of drawing Pokemon. That's right, let's see what rule we have today. Draw the character as living creatures. Nah, they dead, bro. Does that mean we shouldn't draw stuffed toys? Hmm, that's an interesting in interpretation, but not quite right. No, this rule means that it's good to draw Pokemon in lifelike situations. That applies to both the background and the pose of the Pokemon. Have a look at the fletching drawing we've just finished. That's your drawing, right, Professor? It looks amazing. Thank you, Lee. I'm quite pleased with it myself. Wow, flex. But with such a simple portrait, we don't get much of a sense of fletching as a living creature. 
Now let's look at the official Pokemon card illustration of Fletchling. Oh, that is cool. It's like landing. This shows Fletchling in a sunny forest setting just about to land on a branch. The illustration is full of life and natural activity. That's really nice. It makes me want to draw Fletchling again. And you're very welcome to do so, either in the lesson or in free paint. Just add this rule to your extras so you can... Just I'll just add this rule to your extras so you can view it at any time you want. Thank you, Professor. See you in the next lesson. All right, bye. Congratulations, I have lots of new content. Let's go. Let's go do the Snivy. Let's go do the Snivy, because like I already said, I just don't feel like doing Eevee. Create a sketchy pencil drawing of Snivy. Reinforce the skills you learned in the Fletching lesson. All right. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. Apprentice mini lesson. Snivy. Oh, look how cute it is. Oh my god. Welcome in this mini lesson. We'll be drawing Snivy. I did not need to make that sound like one sentence. Snivy is known for being very intelligent and calm. It's more adept at using the vines on its shoulder than it its hands. Oh, okay. Like Fletchling, we're going to draw Snivy using the colored pencil in a sketchy style. First, use the dark green pencil to sketch the missing details over the construction shape. Let's start with the main shapes, leaving out most of the inner details for now. Alright. I kind of forgot that in the mini lessons they make it really like... Not... Oh, oh, look at all that. Look at all those colors we can actually already access. It's in, I didn't realize we could do that right now. Anyway, yeah, I forgot that in the mini lessons they give you like a lot less instruction. They're just like, here's your tool, here you go, bye! And it's like, oh, okay. Which isn't bad, again. It's really not bad because you obviously just went through the lesson, so you know what's going on. You know what's good! You know what's good. It's good in the hood. Snivy's kind of cool. But I picked Taypig, of course, because fire types. But, you know, Snivy's still chill. Uh, if anything, Snivy's probably, like, my second favorite of that trio. For whatever reason, I just never liked Oshawott. I don't know. Despite the fact that it's like the cute little baby of the group and everybody was like, Oh my god, it's so cute! But it's just, uh, I don't know. Okay, whatever. This, this arm, this arm. Hello. Ew. 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 It's little weird feet. It's got little weird feet. It's got little weird feet. No. I don't like its little weird feet. See, look, I don't like Pokemon that don't have, like, a clear leg thing going on there. I mean, if it has legs, like, you know, like, obviously snake Pokemon or, like, Pokemon like Haunter don't have legs at all. But, like, when they have, like, they have feet. They have feet, right? So they gotta have legs, right? But it's like, no, not really. They kind of just have, like, feet attached to their body. It's just weird. It makes me uncomfortable because I like drawing. The, like I just don't, I can't. I, for whatever reason, I can't justify it in my mind to draw feet, but without drawing legs. Like attached to the feet, it's really weird to me. Yuck. Okay. Uh. Okay. Is that is that it? Did I get everything? No, I didn't get these weird things here. And then this one kind of comes from here. I wish I had drawn that first, because now I kind of have to erase this little part here. Alright, whatever, that's fine. Next step. Continue drawing Snivy, but now fill in the details of its face and body. You can fill in Snivy's pupil with a solid color. There's a useful trick to drawing Snivy's eye. Take a look at this. It's a spiral shape. That's right! Okay. Alright, I'm guessing I'm gonna draw this- Whoop, whoop. I'm not using the pencil. Here we go. Give this little thing here. And I guess I'm just gonna... Oh, that's probably too far. I have a bad feeling I'm not gonna give myself enough room for this. Oh no, okay. Oh no, mittens! Oh no, okay. Oh jeez. 
I really didn't- Oh, I wish I'd given me a smaller tool for this. Uh, what the heck happened here? Alright, no. Alright, no. Alright. We're gonna- We're gonna retry this. We're gonna start over. We're- Yeah, like, we're legitimately going to start over with this. I don't care. We're using the smaller one because- Forget you guys. Zoom out a little bit for me. Of course, I'm not using the pencil. There we go. Okay. Okay, his head's gonna be turned a little bit, but that's okay. I'll freaking deal with it. We'll freaking deal with it together. Alright. Um, so what? His eye kind of comes like this, and it's kind of like that. But then... This comes down like that, and then like... Hello? Okay. Ah, uh, Snivy's weird. Snivy's weird. I don't know why I can't do this right now. Ew! <laughs> Alright, whatever. I tried my best. I have no regrets. Um, why does that look like that? Why does that look like that? I don't understand. Alright, whatever, we're gonna zoom in a little bit so I can work out the details of this freaking eye. Oh, it's like it's, it looks like it's like checking us out. All right, whatever. I don't even care. Next step. Oh my god, it looks so different than mine. Now that you draw all the lines, it's time to add all the base colors. Let's try our pencil strokes. Let's let, wait, let, try to let all your pencil strokes go in the same direction as Snivy's shapes. All right, that's cool. All right, so it's just giving us all the colors at the same time, which is nice. No. Let's make this a little bit bigger for now. Yes. Oh, it's so weird that I have to draw around my colors. That oh no. Well, I have to go back and fix that. Okay. That's what I don't like. I don't like drawing around my colors so that I can get everything but not ruin everything. Uh. Uh, I kind of tend to usually color with the flow of the drawing anyway, like the shapes themselves, just because it feels more natural. But, um, I don't know. It's a nice suggestion, too. If you don't do that, it's kind of cool to to try it, I guess. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to use such a small tool for such a big area, that's the thing. So I'm going to draw on these first. I'm gonna go back to that. Where does my thing end? Over here. Okay. Alright. Bigger tool. Because I'm too lazy. Yay! I really hate spending so much time drawing in like the little tiny tiny teeny tiny details of like- or teeny tiny pencil. Sorry, using a teeny tiny pencil for like a wide area. It's so not necessary. Whoops. I went way out of the line there. Oh, man. Alright. Is that everything? Let's zoom out and check. Oh, wait, no, that's right. We're doing all the colors. I forgot about that. That's all the- that's all the- that color, though, so... So, yes! <laughs> Let's actually go with a slightly smaller one for these. I drew this way too big. But that's okay. I actually totally misinterpreted the way that was working there. So, oh well. I fixed it now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. So it's like, that's one of the respects where it's actually kind of nice to be able to color over your initial lines when you've messed up, but usually you're trying not to mess up in the first place, so I mean, I don't know. Okay. Um, oh, that's what that is. It's a little bit of yellow on the tip of the tail. Okay. Oh, shoot. I put a little extra mark. Um, I'm gonna draw the eye. And I'm gonna go and do the green. He's got such nice brown eyes. Let's get some nice brown. It's so nice. It's so nice! Do I have white? No, it's not really white. This is white. Alright, that's cool. 
And then we're gonna go for the green! Uh, I can probably make it a little bit bigger then again. Except I do want to do this part first, because it's so tiny. Big tool! Yes. I can color everything! I can color everything! Okay. Uh, that's a lot better. I really- I'm so- I just really hate wasting that kind of time is all. Alright. That's so cute. It's like a little walking snake. Or I guess that's what it is. It's, a, it's just a little walking snake. It's a little snake leg. Leg snake. Leg snake. Okay. Uh, that should be done in just a second then. I guess we're gonna go in into the shading and hatching then. I wonder what- I actually do what, kind of wonder what kind of hatching they're gonna want us to do in this. Cause I don't think they actually really introduced that yet. Like they didn't show us anyway, like the preview drawing. You know. Like they kind of showed us the preview of how the sketchy fletching was gonna look, but I don't think they did that with the snivy. In fact, they're not asking us to like leave blank spaces for color, so that's interesting too. Next up! <laughs> Darker shading! Go over the shadowed areas under the belly and shin with a light brown pencil. We'll create a shiny effect by not bringing our shading all the way to the edge of Snivy's Sni body. Okay, that's interesting. We'll also use this opportunity to add some shadow and highlight to Snivy's eye. Alright. So, that's interesting. Um, so I guess we're doing it like this. And then we're... Doing it kind of like this? That's weird. Okay. I guess shi Snivy's pretty shiny. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna sh shine up his eye a little bit. This is so weird! Okay. Next up, we're probably gonna do the yellow and green. Oh no, we're gonna just gonna add hatching, that's all. Okay, finally we're gonna add the final touch to our drawing using hatching. There are other ways of hatching besides the straight lines we use in the fletching drawing. For Snivy, we're gonna use, try the type of hatching called contour hatching. Contour hatching? Okay... It's called that because the lines follow the curves, or contours, of the Pokémon's body. You can see a good example from the Pokeball on the left. That's actually interesting, they just kind of threw us in from there. Um, I guess... Actually, I guess my contour should be a little bit different than his. Mine should kind of go this way. Actually, I kind of want this smaller, even. It actually gave us like a weird, like... Where's the lighting on this? I don't really know. Uh, I keep forgetting that we're trying to do this like to the contours of the body. Okay. And then... Hmm. This is a little tedious though, that's the only thing. It takes a while to do hatching kind of kind of shading. But it's fun, it's still it's still a good exercise, I guess. Uh, I don't think they asked us to do that, but oh wait, here, back of the head, back of the head. Okay. Okay. No wait, there's- yeah, there's other colors, right? So then this is like the skin color kind of thing. I'm gonna go under his neck. Get his neck. Nah. And then we're gonna- okay, so we're complementing the shading that we already have with more of this. I really don't like my hatching, I'm telling you right now, I really don't like it. Oh, okay, so we got an orange for the yellow. 
Oh, why is my hatching the worst thing ever? Guys, help! How do you guys shade things? I don't do this. I don't do this. It's so weird. Is that it? With that, we finish our sketch of Sivy. Following the curves of the body, body really helps to add volume to the Pokemon. I'm not sure I really understand that part, Professor. Mine looks kind of weird. That's partially because yours doesn't even look like a Snivy. That's actually the first time that I've kind of looked at it and I've just been like, it, did you even draw the Pokemon we were supposed to draw? That's actually really the first time that I've been that like bewildered by what he drew. Like, like if we, I didn't already know that we were drawing Snivy, it would have taken me a bit to try to guess the Pokemon that he had drawn. It actually, oh my god, I'm so sorry, Lee. Maybe I drew my curves in the wrong direction? No, you drew the head gigantic! Hmm, it may be useful to study my drawing to understand the correct direction. The overall shape is good, though. I look forward to seeing your next effort. For now, goodbye. Alright, goodbye. So this ended up kind of like a longer episode then with those two things going... Oh, I like that background. That's pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Yeah. Although it kind of looks like he's just dancing in like a circle of weird trees and stuff but you know yeah we'll save and finish true but yeah anyway longer episode i hope you guys enjoyed uh we're gonna head out now we're gonna go go, go bye we're gonna say goodbye check out whatever the common question of the day is whenever i decide on that um leave a like if you haven't check out other videos of the series and of my channel if you feel like it um today the attack on Maison attack on Maison, sorry should be on pedro's channel so so ye go check that out. Um, and just generally have a good day. I hope you enjoyed things. I hope you enjoyed just your whole day. Not just this video, but like your whole day, man. Your whole day. And if you didn't, maybe you'll enjoy your whole evening. Or maybe you'll enjoy your whole tomorrow. I don't know, man. Just just keep... Just, just, just live your life and be happy, you beautiful, beautiful person, you. Bye!